Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our review of Dracula that was produced, co-produced with BBC and Netflix. Right. Uh, and it was Stephen Moffat and Mark Gaddis. Mark Gaddis, who have done Sherlock, which we love, and yes. Doctor Who, which we love. Yes, yes. Uh, fucking Moffat. Uh, <laughs> there goes our kid uh, uh okay let's be honest this is not a kid show i gotta uncross my legs um okay let's <laughs> let's get into uh the logistics of this show first before we kind of get into the rest of it it's okay. three episodes right three long episodes three like what because, hour and 45 minute episodes or something like that uh, i think it's an hour and 20 because bbc does their shows in half hour segments so you throw oh, in yeah. some commercials yeah, yeah. and yeah, and it was mm -hmm. um, not afraid to be gory or scary, especially in the first two episodes. Right. Um, which I appreciate. It's hard. I, 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 I struggle when they, specifically when they do the Dracula story, um, you know, pairing back from the gore and the viciousness and the... Right, yeah, when they make the vampires sparkly. Uh, well, I... <laughs> That particular version, I'm okay with because that's that particular version. It's when they make Dracula, like, as much as I love Blade Runner, or Blade Runner, Blade 3. Yeah. For h how just planet it is. Like, that's not Dracula. I'm, right. Like, with the, all the chains and stuff like that. I love Dominic, too. So, it's just, like, it's that, that's not. I want him to be, I want him to be um, Gary Oldman every time. Yeah. And in, in the Bram <laughs> right. Stoker's Dracula. So, I like it when they did, they did that, that. The Dracula was, their Dracula was old and decrepit. And then when um, when Jonathan goes, the attorney goes to the castle, he starts feeding off of them and stuff like that. And, and you can see the yeah. switch between yep. the two of them yep. and stuff. Yep. Um, but I just, the, the set design, we're going to be really nice here for about five minutes. Uh, uh, spoilers. Um, Set design is really cool. Costumes really cool. Yep. It's told over three episodes, and it's three different time periods. So right. the first one is Dracula at the castle. Yep. Um, and we get introduced to Ab Sister Abigail um, von Holsing. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I I liked that kind of twist on it that it, Van Helsing was a woman yeah. instead of yeah. a a guy. Um, so that was that was cool. It was a nice touch too to uh, the whole interrogation scene that she has with Jonathan at the nunnery. Nunnery. I yeah. wanted to say monastery, and I knew yeah. that wasn't right. Um, no, no, no. At the nunnery, and her like just throwing little jabs out, like like having the hots for the other sister, yeah. or having you know, or. or uh, she's very blunt for she, a nun, for a nun nun and very like risque super yeah. risque yeah. for yeah. even not non non nuns non nuns not non nuns non nuns nip 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 um so but i i like the addition of having her be uh, having her be of the van helsing and the cat and mouse game they play and the first towards the end of the first episode and then they go to, into the second episode right and the second episode is um i'm on a boat i'm on a boat <laughs> they're going to the new world well they're going to london london yeah 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 uh the longest month long journey across right. the channel or something <laughs> i don't quite understand um well they'd be going coming from Hungary or Romania, Romania the yeah. long way around. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Um, that episode's fun too, because now <laughs> it's, um, you know, everybody's captive on the boat. Right. And it's very kind of, now it's super horror, horror -y because people are getting killed off and stuff like that. Right. And leaving bits and pieces of bodies after Dracula has attacked them. And yeah, yeah so gory. Some self-control <laughs> would have been uh, probably just really helpful in that. <laughs> I just thought he sucked blood. I didn't know he like ate their entire bodies. It was kind of yeah. There was I mean, he got rid of some bodies over the side too. And yeah, and... but the one guy that was hurt or whatever, he was on the surgical bed. He fell oh, off the yeah. out of the crow's nest and broke his leg. And then they came and there was just like some guts and yeah, yeah, a couple fingers or whatever. <laughs> Tasty. Uh, so in in the cat and mouse game with 
Von Helsing is on the boat, right. which I thought was really kind of a cool way of doing it and how they were kind of playing with the concept of how Von Helsing gets her powers to be able to stay with Dracula throughout the ages and stuff like that. And, right. And I like I liked how they did that, too. And then we get to episode three, <laughs> which is the modern world. Right. And... Um, Van Helsing is actually like a descendant. Yes. Because uh, the boat went down. Yes. And um, she's just as snarky as her, right. an her previous person, um, previous iteration. And um, we get introduced to a young woman, young party girl, who seems not to care about death and and yeah, she's make like, you sad and stuff. Yeah, romanticize <laughs> the vampire part. I don't even know if it was the vampire part. I think it was just the romanticization of I want to be young forever yeah. and, and I'm not afraid of dying. I'm just afraid of dying old. Yeah. Yeah. It's very much how I came across. At least for me, I, I, it's, it could be a different interpretation with yeah, that. That's, whatever. That's fair. Um, that episode starts off really strong and then takes some really unique turns. <laughs> that's being kind uh knowing moffat as well as we do because of sherlock and because of doctor who and knowing gaddis and how they both kind of uh are each other's muses and they uh, they are writing partners and and they are willing to try new things and that's mu much of the reason why sherlock worked out so well is because they were able to modernize a lot of the classic stories right and put in twists and turns and different interpretations of the Sherlock Holmes story right. is why that made that that series so popular and so good. And you got, you know, butter, scotch, snops. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Bad, you know, I was watching Graham Norton today and they were they called them Boston Batch. Boston Batch. <laughs> was there the Boston based group of their of the fan girls of Benedict Cumberbatch? Something like that. Anyways, um so but they um I'm okay with that they try a modern interpretation of doing what would, what would Dracula be like in the modern world. Right. Yeah. And I'm it's totally been okay done. with that. It's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. Except they decide we're going to get into spoilers here now. We're seven minutes in, so seven and a half minutes <laughs> in. So we're going to get into spoilers here. So the last little bit. Um, him getting a soul or getting a conscience right. or whatever it is. Right. It, no. Right. If he'd started, okay, you know, Angel had a soul. <laughs> Vampires with he souls. Was, he was cursed with the soul. Right. That's not new. But he wasn't like that. I mean, he was pretty horrific for the first two yeah. episodes. Hit and then the scene in the nunnery where he's just sitting there and letting the dogs and like... Yeah. do their thing. And he's just sitting there teasing them and getting off and the, watching these nuns get... Yeah. Taken, like, all that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He was pretty savage. And then, uh, I don't, I don't, and then the whole, the end was just, I don't. Because he got some emotional connection with Van Helsing, the modern Van Helsing, she had cancer. Right. And so when he went to bite her, um, her blood was poison, essentially. To right. Him. She made him sick. And then, uh, uh, and she spins... Like, the last 30 minutes of this episode, the last episode, like, convincing Dracula, Count Dracula, uh, <laughs> I love the way he just introduced himself as Count Dracula, um, <laughs> but he, like, he, like, convincing him that, like, all of these theories you have of yourself or all these thoughts you have of yourself or whatever aren't real. They're just made up by somebody else, and you're just perpetuating them in your own head. Right. And then that convinces him to to die with her. Right. Like, I like I yeah. I, I, <laughs> I appreciate the swing, guys. Thanks. But <laughs> like like the I get I, I I would have been okay if he felt something there. Like like here's a foe that I've had against with me my m most of my life. Yeah. Or, or some version of a f the, the same foe. Yeah. Have and then having knowing that he can't do anything to help her, 
and he's going to miss her and have that moment of self-realization that I'm alone. I truly am alone. Yeah. Um, especially after losing his modern bride. Like, I would have been okay with him having a moment of, like, self-realization. That yeah. I've, I'm, I'm alone and, and being sad about it and, and then going on some kind of rampage or shutting himself off from the world completely like like he did when he was in Transylvania or right. whatever. Right, right. Kind of, that would have been kind of full circle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but the idea of choosing to kill himself right it's like it's just such a weird choice yeah and it's just like everybody who's watched the show has been really funny like they've been uh everybody's been all like the show is really good and then we got to the third episode i don't know what the hell that was (laughs) yeah it's funny on facebook you'll see people that pops up you're like oh you watch dracula they're like what is going on she went into the tree Every time I see that <laughs> on Facebook, I know exactly where you are. <laughs> in Stranger Things. Uh, in Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, I just uh, – the performance is really good. Um, Klaus Bang is the one who plays um, – uh, Count Dracula. Count Dracula. Uh, he's like, you know, defined cheekbones yeah. and very menacing but very charming. And Yeah, and he, uh, he definitely works for he Dracula. He does a very good job. And then yeah. uh, Dolly Wells who plays um, – Ab- uh, Agatha Christie, uh, <laughs> Van Helsing, uh, Van Helsing, and stuff like that. I forgot the last name. We just used her last name like seventeen <laughs> times. Uh, she's really good too, as the you know, the, like we were talking about the snarky, you know, nurse yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. I, I liked. The- and then uh, um, uh, Renfield was uh, played by um, uh, uh, Mark, Gaddis. Mark Gaddis. Yeah, we just used his name. We forgot his name too. <laughs> Wow, we're in a hot yeah. mess. Um, I thought that was funny. I would have liked to have seen more Renfield because <laughs> I always yes. liked his character. And I and I liked Gaddis's <laughs> interpretation of him, like the self-aware mouse. Yeah. Um, kind of weird as it is, and then he starts falling f- into the trap of what is Dracula and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And so yeah. like that part, I, I like to have seen more of that, but the show wasn't about the him. Actually, you could just do a spinoff show of three episodes with him <laughs> trying to explain what the hell was going on in the last 30 <laughs> minutes of that freaking episode. Uh, overall, uh, if you're a Dracula fan, if you're a vampire fan, if you like that kind of um, lore and that kind of idea, uh, it's a fun watch. Uh, just understand that there's going to be some stuff in the third episode that you're going to just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know that we'd watch it again. I I have I, I'm excited to see what Gaddis and Moffat do together again. Yeah. And going forward yeah. and stuff like that. I'd really like to see them do. They they kind of done it, but like, uh, like, uh, around the world in eighty days or yeah. the, the Great Time Machine or something like that. Something that a Victorian mm. era. Yeah. As they've already done kind of Victorian era stuff anyways. But now let's do it, you know, maybe a little bit. How about let's just do some more Sherlock? Can we do more Sherlock? (laughs) Benedict's got nothing going on. No. He's got no good doctor. Uh, Oh, we're using made-up names. I'm uh, I'm Duke Tristan. Uh, So that is our thoughts on Dracula from the BBC and Netflix. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Uh, I'm going to tell you to be nice, but um, uh, just be nice. If you want to flame it, flame it. But let's just let's be nice in the comments and let us know. Like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Help us out on uh, – hit the bell for notifications. I forgot that. And help us out on social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And until next time, if we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.